Hey guys, so in today's video I'm going to show you how to tune the guitar. You're going to want to have some kind of a tuner around. Um, basically these clip-on tuners are really handy. Um, you can also use a tuner on your phone, you can get apps for that. Um, guitar Tuna is a good one that's free, That's you know a lot of people use that. I use ClearTune. Um, and also um, you can get electronic tuners where you plug into the guitar with those. Uh, you can also use pedals for tuners. But the simplest that work with all types of guitars are these clip-on tuners. Um, this one's made by Korg, but there's all kinds of different ones, all kinds of different companies. Um, so this will tell you if the note is either in tune or sharp or flat. So sharp means the note is too high, flat means the note is too low. So what you want to do is get it right in the middle, and you'll see on tuners it'll tell you if the note is below or above the middle, and the middle is in tune where you want it. So if I start on the top string, the sixth string, it's going to be E, like elephants and donkeys grow big ears, okay? So you're going to have E, this top string, so I play E and then I look over at the tuner and make sure that it should be an E, it should match the, the note that I'm playing, okay? So I play that E, now the E is a little flat, that means that it's below the middle point, so I need to tighten the string to get it to be in the middle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push the tuner away from me to tighten the string. So I'm using my thumb to push it away from me and that is tightening up the string to get it. And then if I need to loosen it a little bit, I'll pull on the string like this, tighten to loosen it. And then I'm going to turn the tuner. So it's really going counterclockwise. If you look directly at the tuner, you're turning it counterclockwise away from you to tighten it. Okay. Then when the note is just in the middle and it shows E, then that means it's in tune. Okay. Next note down is A, so I'm going to look at that. It's just a little flat, so I'm going to tune A just up a little bit. And keep in mind, I'm playing the note. You can use a pick, but you can also use your thumb to just lightly play the string while you're tuning it. If you play it too hard, the string actually goes a little out of tune. But if you play it at a consistent, soft level, it'll kind of give you the same note, and then you'll really be able to accurately tune it better. So you just go down and do that with each string. Now I'm on D, that one looks pretty good. I get to G, that one's just right in the middle, okay, B string, just right, and E string's a little flat, I'm going to tighten that up a little bit. Now when you're looking at the, a type of headstock that has three tuners on the top, three tuners on the bottom, when you get to the bottom tuners to tune away from you, you're still going to push away with your thumb, okay? So if you look at it, it's still going counterclockwise if you look directly at the tuner, but you're pushing away. And a lot of that comes from just trial and error, you know, if you play the guitar and they're wound correctly, then when you push away on it, it will go sharp, it will go up, okay? So again, that's counterclockwise if I look straight at the tuner, okay? So now I'm all in tune. Elephants and donkeys grow big ears, all of the open strings are all right in the center where the tuner shows, okay? Another thing is, if the note is sharp and you need to bring it down, besides turning the tuner back towards you, First you want to pull on the string and pull it out a little bit and wiggle it because that will a lot of times loosen the string a bit and it'll, it'll go down already. For, you don't even have to even turn the tuner, okay? Um, all right, 